Football now and MK Dons have appointed Liam Manning as their new head coach. The 35-year-old has quite the pedigree, serving spells as a... Eddie, just tell us how special... switch. His first test is against Sunderland at Stadium MK tomorrow. Our sports editor, Jonathan Park, reports. He's a name unfamiliar to most football fans, but Liam Manning's travelled far and wide to earn this opportunity as MK Don's new head coach. From Ipswich to West Ham to New York City to the Belgium leagues. Extremely delighted to be given the opportunity to uh, you know, build on some really good work that was already done here before. So, uh, Really excited to meet the players, get, get on the grass, get working. I think that's the biggest thing. I think you know, there's a... It's been a few days to try and get everything sorted with the, the travel and obviously the, the agreement with CFG. So now we're at that point where I can obviously uh, meet the players this morning, get on the grass. That's the, uh, what I'm here to do and what I'm looking forward to. Liam's new office, a step up from Lom LSK in the Belgium second division. But a third place finish in this first season there alerted Dons to his potential. You've got somebody here that um, it is a a left field appointment but only because we're so focused on the English game I, I, actually this is a guy that took a team who was um, kind of not known for success in Belgium and, and turned them from a bottom three team into a top three team inside 12 months and when somebody's got that background um, I think we can have confidence that he knows what he's doing he's got a, a real clear principles um, and yeah we're just we think it's a real good fit not just for this team but for MK for Milton Keynes and for obviously MK Dons so yeah we're, we're obviously excited about it the two Liams will work side by side, part of the new structure at Stadium MK. He replaces Russell Martin, who was poached by Swansea on the eve of the new season. The two share a similar playing philosophy and favour a young squad with potential to develop. So is this a gamble or is it a calculated risk? Well, I'll go for the latter. Look at the history this club's got in appointing rookie managers. From Paul Ince to Roberto Di Matteo to Carl Robinson and bringing us up to date to Russell Martin. So Liam Manning is in very good company indeed. Let's just see if he can be as successful as some of those names. It's a really exciting appointment. I think it's certainly one that no one expected. Uh, I didn't know who he was this time last week, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, having done my research into him, I think I, I think he buys into what we're trying to do. And I think as fans, we'll buy into what he's going to do. So I think it could be a really good match if everyone gets on side. Highly rated, his last two clubs are part of the City Football Group, which owns Premier League champions Manchester City. Liam's first test is on the green, green grass of Stadium MK. And they don't come much bigger than Sunderland, with the fans back after 18 months. What a start. Jonathan Park, BBC Le Now, medieval building.